Welcome, welcome one and all to my video, Is Salvation by Confession or Confession by Belief Only, however you want to uh, word the question. We're going to take a look from a famous movie scene, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, a baptism scene, and then we're going to peel the layers of the unbaptism. Let's take a listen. Been saved. Well, that's it, boys. I've been redeemed. The preacher done washed away all my sins and transgressions. It's a straight and narrow from here on out, and heaven everlasting is my reward. Delver, what are you talking about? We got bigger fish to fry. The preacher said all my sins is washed away, including that Piggly Wiggly I knocked over in Yazoo. I thought you said you was innocent of those charges. Well, I was lying. Well, uh, a very funny scene indeed. Uh, did Delmar really get saved in this scene? Uh, that's a a long topic for discussion, uh, but one thing I think is very clear, we didn't really see any gospel being presented, so just being dunked, I don't, I think that we do know what the answer to that question is. So let's take a look at the uh, layers of the onion and peel them back. So there are some people that uh, actually say that baptism is part of salvation, and they say uh, it's necessary for one to be saved. Um, so is it really necessary or is it a, a, a symbol that we have been changed from the uh, death of the sinful nature to the resurrection to a new life in Christ? Let's take a look at a few scriptures. So our first text is Acts 2, 38 to 41. Peter speaking, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And it goes on to say in verse down to verse 31, those who accepted his message were baptized. So this is obviously after, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. On to our next passage. So this next verse is found a little later in Acts, Acts 3, verse 19. No matter which version you want to read, it says, repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. King James, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. The ESV, repent therefore and turn back that your sins may be blotted out. I don't know why the ESV uh, leaves out a little bit on that verse, but that's a topic for another video. So we're going to go look at another verse. So Matthew 28, 19 in the Gospels, the Holman Christian Standard Bible says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, the ESV, the King James, they're in agreement on how this is worded. Uh, this is where there are movements, there are denominations that go to these scriptures and isolate on this verse. It's interpretation by isolationism by saying, uh, well, see, this verse here says, you know, you've got to go baptize them, and that's the only way to be saved. So we're going to take a look at the, uh, the original Greek, and the Greek word is baptizontes, uh, which is for the word, the Greek word in the uh, Matthew 28, 19 verse. Next, we're going to take a look at what the meaning of this word is. Okay, so in a lexicon concordance, uh, this word uh, also is known as baptizo. So one thing I want to address, so I'm going to address two things. The first one is this claim uh, by the uh, uh, certain denominations that we must be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Well, that's not the meaning of baptism. We see here to dip repeatedly, to immerse, to submerge. So the Roman Catholic Church, for example, they sprinkle. So I don't know where they went from uh, spring, from uh, immersing to sprinkling, uh, obviously that must have happened centuries ago. Um, we, I don't know the exact year when, when that practice began, but it's very clear that baptism is to immerse underwater. So we have scriptures that talk about uh, repent, confession, uh, then we also have scripture to talk about baptism, and we have scriptures we looked at that talk about both. So let's look at the scripture found in Luke chapter 23. 
Uh, this is the crossing the two criminals. Uh, some people call them thieves. It, it doesn't really matter. What matters were is, is that they were sinners. And one of the criminals who was hanged uh, blasphemed him, saying, if you are the Christ, save yourself. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, do you not even fear God? And uh, he says down in verse 42, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus, showing so much grace, said to him, surely I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. There was no way he could be baptized underwater. So we see, we clearly see here salvation by confession, by faith. Thanks for watching my video today, and I look forward to you in the next video. In the description will be a, a link to my visual Bible study guide, which is on Amazon, e Kindle Books, and Google Play. You can take a free look on Amazon. And I hope you have been blessed by this today. Look forward to seeing you all in the next video.